of all, I must... The Equal Opportunities Committee of Parliament summoned the officials from the Directorate of Citizenship and Immigration Control under the Ministry of Internal Affairs to respond to concerns from the public over the increasing number of foreigners engaged in retail trade. We have never seen Chinese or these Indians or Arabs. Deportation. Deportation or no. anything. Uh, the committee chaired by Kampala Central MP Mohamed Insereko heard that Uganda lacks a legal framework to regulate the number of foreigners a foreign investor can employ in the country. Assuming that like they say it's a counter. Yes. Are we saying Uganda is devoid of all 10,000 skills? An investor is supposed to bring in and recruit his staff. It is there. And recruit? Yeah. He can bring in his staff from outside. There is no restriction. We're not segregating these jobs must be for our people. This must be for uh, anybody else who can come. During a retreat by ministers, permanent secretaries, and senior NRM party officials, President Yoweri Museveni spoke out against foreigners, especially Chinese and Indians, getting involved in retail trade and unfairly competing with Ugandan retailers. It is however not correct for the regulators not to take action against the Chinese and Indian retailers who unfairly compete against our retailers. According to the president, foreigners should be bringing in expertise that not many Ugandans have, but gradually train Ugandans to let a takeover from them. State Minister of Internal Affairs, Obiga Kania, says the regulation of foreigners in retail trade will be done gradually in accordance with the laws. We don't take it as Ugandans and say, from now on, no Asians here, no, no foreigners here, no Chinese here, no. It is a process which must be legally worked out. MPs on the Equal Opportunities Committee also queried the number and expertise of foreigners working in the country. Officials put the number of foreigners with work permits in Uganda at 10,881 by this year. But when we go down there with these people, we might find over 3,000 investors, each possessing a work permit issued by this by, by the same board. Minister Kanya claimed that foreign investors set tough conditions on the qualifications of Ugandans to employ and many Ugandans apparently fell short. He added that the investors also don't trust many Ugandans, especially when it comes to hiring accountants. Many will say, I am setting up this business, but I don't need Ugandan accountants. Money, there are people who can do accounts <laughs> in Uganda but I don't trust them. Now the committee has recommended that the directorate together with the Ministry of Labor comes up with a database of all workers, including foreigners, and their work permits as one way of monitoring and screening out those that don't meet the required standards. Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.